What's going on guys, Boxkinies here, and welcome back to another episode of King Legacy. So, uh, last episode we did quite a bit. We finished up the Sky Island, and we headed over to the new island, which is the, uh, the bubble. I forget what it's actually called, but it's, you know, the bubble island, right? Uh, I've been leveling a little bit since last episode, not much. I've only gone up like 25 levels since last episode. Um, but I did do something kind of big that is going to help us, uh with this series a lot in the future. So that is, I bought the Magma Fruit with Robux. It was 950 Robux, so now I can use it whenever I want. So I can change fruits, and then whenever I want, I can just come here and equip it. So that's really, really nice. Um, that solves everything, you know? <laughs> I can have a good fruit whenever I want, and I can also test out every fruit that I need to. So, I thought that was uh, the best option for that. Do I have any fruits I need to test out in here? I don't think I do. Buddha, we've tried... Okay, we've tried all of these. So yeah, we're good there. Uh, we'll probably buy a few fruits today. But, I, need, I do need to get, like, a little bit more money to do that. But yeah, so here's how you, here's how this farm's been going. Kind of like the same for Beretti. That, that, and then they come and we do that. So say it's the same as what I did on Beretti and uh, Arlong Park. With the Magma Fruits. Which the Magma Fruit has been my favorite fruit so far. That is why I bought it. And because, you know, it's still just completely one-shots bosses from anywhere, so <laughs> that's another reason. Magma Fruits is 2OP to pass up. Now, the next mission's at uh, 1,100, right? So we are still a little bit off on that. And then it's 1,150. Yeah, 100 levels in between this mission and the next, though. So it's got some time. Now, I do have enough to go roll some fruits now. But maybe I should save up enough for th to uh, roll three. So 750,000. I get money pretty fast here, so I mean, it's not that big of an issue to get money right now. Because let's see how much I get per mission. I think I get 2k for killing these guys. Yeah, 2k and then I get, so we get 8k per mission completion. Uh, so we get about 10k total for each, oh. I always, I keep, I always wanting to, I always want to do that. So we get 10 uh, K per uh, mission that we do of this one, this mission. Every run we get 10 K. So that's not terrible. <laughs> if I want, actually, not I'm thinking. If I want to get 750, what is that? <laughs> like, I had to run this like 70 times. Wait, is that? Yeah, I think so. Seeing if that math was right, but okay, it's uh, it's late when I'm recording this. My brain doesn't function at night, but I think I'm right there. Right? And then I can always just do this as well to get some extra... Oh! Get some extra bucks. How much money does he give me? 550. Pretty easy, though. Pretty easy. Oh, Kikoku left. Um... I'm trying to think. Oh no, I, I was gonna say, if I, uh, I, I didn't remember if I showed off me getting his uh, staff. The Thunder God's staff. Forgot if I showed that off or not, but yeah, I did. That was the old island. I wonder if the next guy's gonna drop anything though. I don't even know who the next boss is. I don't even know if I've been over there yet. Oh yeah, never mind, I do. <laughs> I think his name is, is it Kumo in One Piece? It's been a while since I've seen his character, you know, so. I think it is, though. And if he were to drop anything... If he were to drop anything, I think it would be his hat. If he's wearing his hat. Which he is. If he were to drop anything. Can I kill him yet? Might not be able to kill this guy. Oh, I didn't one-shot him. Oh, yeah, I did. <laughs> I still one-shot him. Never mind. The bubbles popping all on this island. I don't know if you guys can hear it or not. It's 
constant. Constant. Boom. Maybe we'll only do... Uh, no, I was going to say maybe we'll only do 500k. But I do want to roll the maximum that I can each episode, you know? Maybe not each episode, but... You know, you can only roll like three uh, quirks per six hours or something. So, I would like to do that like whenever I can during an episode. So when's the next place again? 12.50? Okay. 12.50 and it's uh, an East Lobby. Got it. Got it, boss. I wish my uh, magma meteor would just reach all four of these guys, but that would make it too simple, you know? That would make things a little too simple. It's crazy, the max is uh, like 3,000, and I'm only, I'm only level 1,000. I got some work to do, guys. It's just I don't want to do too much off camera, you know? I don't want to come back one episode and I'm at the end of the game. That wouldn't be good. That's why I like to take things slow with the series. I think I have a lot of uh, points right now, actually. Stat points. Should have a good amount. Should I go for another uh, air jump or whatever? Because I have eh, 200. Or should we just go Devil Fruit? Maybe we should go Defense. Defense is always good, too. I forgot to take the mission. <laughs> forgot to take the mission. I usually play on public servers um, instead of private servers for this game. Because, again, I haven't really had too, much, uh, too many problems on this game with uh, people. Unlike, like, uh, GPO and Blocks Roots. But I was uh, farming just before this episode. And there were a couple other people on this island. So I was like, yeah, let's just head hop over. Yeah. Just hop over. So yeah, we're going to get to 1100 this episode. Uh, I want to get to, let's just do, like, maybe one or two more. Uh, and then I'm gonna farm up some money. Might not do the 750,000 just because I don't know if I'll be there once I get to 1100. But I would like to do that, obviously. Because I, you know, want as many chances to get a new fruit to test out as possible. But we'll see. I'm gonna put all these stats, I think, into defense. Do we? 208 into defense, and then I think. I'll go uh, the next batch of stat points I'll put into Blocks Roots. And then maybe grab another uh, jump. I got three jumps right now, which isn't terrible. Doesn't feel bad, at least. What else was on this island? What are you? Skill trainer. Oh, right. I do also need that. What's in here? Oh, it's a quest. Hello, stranger. Oh yeah, this is for like the key, and she gives you money. Where's that key? I was like, it was like right out here last time. Let me click it. Look at that, 30k just for walking right outside the door. Easy. They need to like put Easter eggs in this game. I don't think there's been any Easter eggs that I've seen so far though. Have I ever showed what this uh, staff even does? I think I did. Dragon Head and Thunder Tempest. Look at him flying. Pretty cool. I don't know if it's better than the Shark Sword, but... It's cool looking. I think I like the Shark Sword more. It even looks better on the back. I'll probably swap back to it, but I just wanted to, you know, use this for a little bit. Oh no, it's doing the thing again. 
Okay, I think it's good. I, I was it was like shooting backwards um a bunch earlier and I had to relog. Like it wouldn't shoot forward for the life of me. So hopefully it's good. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and get to uh eleven hundred. And then we'll probably have like five hundred K. Probably not seven hundred fifty K. Um and then we're gonna go roll some fruits. Uh do this next mission and stuff and go from there. Alright, and we're back and I actually did end up getting eight hundred uh, 68k, so we can do three fruits. Um, also, uh, Chaos, the guy on the server right now, gave me a few huge fruits that I'm going to show you guys right now. Look at this. Ready? Menu. He gave me the Spirit Fruit and the Quake Fruit. Those are huge. One's a Legendary Fruit, for one. So, we have those to test out. I feel like we should do one at a time, like one episode at a time for those two, just because they're so like, pretty big fruits. Um, but we are going to head back to uh, Starter Island and roll three fruits. Uh, but first, of course, let's do this mission together, right? Ready, guys? Ready? How See how easy this mission is? Done. We can just walk away. Done. Uh, now where exactly am I? I think Starter Island is... That direct? Is it right there? Is it? What's my fastest boat? I think all the boats are the same speed. I think it's this way. Um... Why is my boat... Oh, what was that? Oh, someone was taking damage. Oh, wait, what am I doing? I just remembered I have, <laughs> I have magma flight. Um, but I think we'll test out one of those two fruits that we got today. If we if we don't get anything from the, the three spins, we're going to test out the quake fruit, I think. I kind of want to wait on the spirit fruit, because I feel like that one's going to be pretty cool. Maybe we'll do that one first. I don't know. We might do the spirit fruit first. It's a legendary fruit, though, guys. I'm just afraid that I'm going to really like it and not want to change off of it. And... Yeah. <laughs> that's that's my worst nightmare right now, is that I'm going to really, really like a fruit and not want to change from it. Okay, that's the second island. So the first island is going to be right here. There was a... Blocks fruit shop on the island I was just at. There wasn't a random one, was there? I'm trying to think now. Did I just do a stupid? I don't think there was a random fruit dealer there, was there? I'm just going to go ahead and say no. <laughs> we'll head back uh, after we do this, and if there is, then my bad. But yes, let's roll three fruits. Can you get legendary fruits from uh, this spin thing? You should be able to, right? Let's see what we get. A common fruit, which is... That's the giraffe fruit. Get that out of my sight. Next we have... An uncommon fruit, which is... I think that's the spike fruit. Oh, is that the spirit fruit right there? Uh, and last but not least... And, uh, another common, which is the human human fruits. Now, I can't buy any more, can I? Not enough money. Huh. So, I don't need any of these fruits, by the way. I can just kind of drop them. I don't even need to collect them here. Drop, drop, and... Drop. I don't need any of those. Now... What fruit do we eat here? I think we eat the, the quake fruit, guys. For today. Let's do the quake fruit. What does the quake fruit look like? Let's do it. Eat. Minecraft eating noise. <laughs> so we have crack ball. That didn't even reach him. Got that. Uh, we have Smack Floor. Okay. 
That does a pretty good distance. We have Destroyer. And then, of course, we have Double Wave, which I think I've seen this before. When I was at, I was like actually on like this island or something, and I seen someone use it on this island, so I kind of already know what it does. But I want to test these out again. So Smack Floor, Good Distance, Destroyer. Goes out in like four, four ways. And then, of course, this. My grinding fruit when I first started. <laughs> just kind of wipe out the entire island, right? <laughs> we can just we can just kind of wipe out the entire island. <laughs> now I'm curious. How much damage this thing actually does? Because if it's one shots bosses, which hi highly unlikely. Um, let me see this, by the way. I don't think this is going to reach everywhere. Did I reach all... It actually did reach all of them. I could do that. Okay, that's not actually bad. That's not actually bad. So then here's, uh... Here's the tsunami. Where is it at? Where is those way... There they are. I'm curious of how much damage is going to do to this thing. Okay, so it didn't... I mean, actually, that wasn't terrible either. Huh. How do you have multiple fruits in one? Oh. Because I just rerolled. Or he didn't know that I changed. But... I killed that pretty fast. Uh... Let's see about this guy. See, now the thing with the double wave is that it takes a second to get here, right? It does take a second to actually come. Oh, <gasps> no, is it not going to hit? No, it's going to hit. <laughs> it still hit, though, and it still killed him. That is... That is very nice, especially for this, guys. Just being able to like wipe out an entire island like this. Oh, I was I meant to do uh, the wave there. Is really nice. Is really really nice. Huh. Okay. Cool. Um, I think I still prefer magma over this. Uh, I love the double wave. You know, I gotta try. I gotta show it one more time, of course. It does take a while to come, but I mean, just look at that. How can you hate that, you know? How can you not love that move? It's impossible. It's impossible not to like that move. Is this Kikoku? So you can change your dragon color. I was wondering about that. What is that? I couldn't move. I still can't move. I'm knocked out from the dragon. Who is that? I can't even see who that is. I think that's Kikoku. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, it's Chaos. Okay. Um, but, yeah, I think I'm going to swap back to Magma. See, watch this, guys. Ready? I'm done using... I'm done testing out Quake. Now, watch this. Ready? I can just be like, oh, well, uh, give me this back. Equip. <laughs> just like that. Easy as that, isn't it? Easy as that. Uh, next episode, we will test out Spirit. But I think that's going to be it for this episode, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please like down below. I really appreciate it. If you guys are on the channel, please subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.